Hi guys and welcome to Historically. For today's video, we will be exploring the lives of some of the most iconic figures in history. From musicians and actors to politicians and activists, these people have left an indelible mark on our world. Join us as we delve into these stories of fascinating individuals. Using AI age progression, we will show you how they would have looked like if they were alive today. Get ready to be inspired. John F. Kennedy was the 35th President of the United States. He served from 1961 until his assassination in 1963. He was the youngest person to ever get elected and the first Catholic President in American history. Kennedy was born into a wealthy and politically connected family and served in the U.S. Navy during World War II. He was elected to the U.S. House of Representatives in 1946 and to the U.S. Senate in 1952. In 1960, he defeated Richard Nixon in the presidential election and took office on January 20, 1961. During his presidency, Kennedy faced numerous foreign and domestic challenges, including the Cold War, the Civil Rights Movement, and the Bay of Pig Crisis in Cuba. Steve Jobs was an American entrepreneur and inventor who co-founded Apple Incorporated. He was born on February 24, 1955, in San Francisco, California, and grew up in the San Francisco Bay Area. Jobs dropped out of college after one semester and took a job at a video game maker. He was working for Atari to save money for a trip to India in search of spiritual enlightenment. Upon his return, he co-founded Apple Computer with Steve Wozniak in 1976. Jobs was the marketing strategist behind the company's breakthrough products, the Macintosh computer and the iPod, iPhone and iPad. He was known for his innovative and often controversial ideas, and his leadership was seen as both inspirational and demanding. Jobs resigned as CEO of Apple's in 1985, but returned to the company in 1996 and led it to become one of the world's most valuable corporations. He died on October 5, 2011, from pancreatic cancer. Jobs' legacy continues to inspire innovation and creativity in the tech industry. Michael Clark Duncan was an American actor known for his deep, commanding voice and imposing physical presence. Born in 1957 in Illinois, Duncan worked as a bodyguard for celebrities before getting his break in Hollywood with a role in the 1998 film Armageddon. He went on to receive critical acclaim for his role as John Coffey in the 1999 film The Green Mile, for which he received an Academy Award nomination. Throughout his career, Duncan appeared in numerous films and TV shows, becoming a beloved figure in the industry. He passed away in 2012 at the age of 54. Brad Renfro was an American actor known for his role in movies such as The Client, Sleepers, and Apt Pupil. He started his acting career at a young age and quickly gained critical acclaim for his talent. Renfro struggled with drug addiction for many years, which affected his career and personal life. He tragically passed away at the age of 25 at an accidental heroin overdose. Despite his short life, Renfro left a legacy behind as a talented actor and cautionary tale about the dangers of substance abuse. MLK Martin Luther King Jr. He was an American Baptist minister and civil rights activist who became a prominent leader in the American civil rights movement from the mid-1950s until his assassination in 1968. Born on January 15, 1929 in Atlanta, Georgia, King is best known for his role in the advancement of civil rights using non-violent civil disobedience based on his Christian beliefs. He is widely regarded as one of the greatest Americans of the 20th century, and his speeches and writings are still widely read and studied to this day. Anthony Minghella was a highly acclaimed British film director, screenwriter, and playwright. Born on January 6, 1954 in Ryde, Isle of the Ryde, Anthony gained international recognition for his work in film, including the Academy Award-winning 
The English Patient, which he both directed and wrote the screenplay for. He also directed and wrote the screenplay for several other successful films, including The Talented Mr. Ripley and Cold Mountain. Throughout his career, Anthony was known for his talent in storytelling. He had a high attention to detail and his ability to draw out powerful performances from actors was one to be recognized. He received numerous awards and nominations for his work. Anthony passed away on March 18, 2008 in London, England, leaving behind a legacy as one of the most talented and respected filmmakers of his generation. Jeff Healy was a Canadian musician and guitarist known for his unique style of playing the guitar flat on his lap due to being blind from an early age. He was born on March 25, 1966 in Toronto, Canada and began playing the guitar at the age of three. He formed his first band, The Jazz Wizard, at the age of 16 years old and gained international recognition with the release of his debut album See the Light in 1988. He continued to release successful albums throughout the 1990s and was known for his energetic live performances. Healy died on March 2, 2008 at the age of 41 from cancer. Despite his short career, he left a lasting impact on the music world and is remembered as one of the most talented and innovative guitarists of his time. Nicole Dehoeuf was an American actress known for her roles in film and television. She was born on January 6, 1975 in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, and raised in Colorado. She began her acting career in the late 90s and appeared in a variety of TV shows and films, including the Meet the Parents, CSI Miami, and The Court. She was known for her natural talent and ability to bring depth and complexity to her characters. Tragically, she passed away on February 15, 2005, at the young age of 30, due to complications from pneumonia. John Eric Hexum was an American actor and model born on 5th of November 1957 in Inglewood, New Jersey. He began his career as a model before turning to acting and gained fame in the 1980s with his role in the television series Cover Up. Tragically, Hexum died at the age of 26 as a result of a self-inflicted gunshot wound on the set of the series after a blank was loaded and discharged, causing him fatal head injury. Despite his brief career, Hexum remains remembered for his talent and charm. That's all we had for today. We hope you enjoyed. Let us know in the comments who you want to see next. We hope you have a nice one.